What's going on? Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy! I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. Look, Metal Ball, I can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice. Run! Run! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Well done. Okay, follow me. We've still got work to do. At least she can't touch us back here. What's happening? Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, d uh, don't move. Okay, alright, so, got an idea, but it is bloody dangerous. Here we go. Ah! Oh, for God's sake. They told me that if I ever turned this flashlight on, I would die. They told me that about everything. I mean, I, I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless. I'm mad. Ooh. It's dark down here, isn't it? They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their replicas, all of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not paranormal. Try to jump across. Let's keep moving. The factory entrance must be around here somewhere. Careful, careful. Wait, careful, let me light this jump for you. Okay, this looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Oh, nicely done. Quick, 
This way. Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing, but uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism, ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the, um, sorry, that's, uh, no, I would say smelly. Just, just tending to the humans. Sorry about that, that just, that just slipped out. I'm a bit insensitive. Um, the smelly humans. Turret redemption lines active. Please do not engage with turrets heading towards redemption. Turret redemption lines are not rise. Please exit the turret redemption line. Redemption lines are not rise. Please exit the turret redemption line. You made it through. Well done. Follow me. You're going to love this. Almost there. Ta da Only the turret control center. Thank you very well. See that scanner out there? Right? It's deciding which turrets to keep and which to toss. And it's using that master turret there as a template. Now, if we pull out the template turret, it will shut down the whole production number. Right. Um, I'm going to have to hack the door so that we can get at it. Technical. Um, you'll need to turn around while I do this. Okay, go on, just pull that turret out. Uh, this is just... Template. 
respawns. Well, Templar. that should do it. Temple's missing. Continuing from memory. Oh, it hasn't done it. Right, let's figure out how to stop this turret line. Have you got any ideas? Uh, any ideas? Any ideas? Template. No? Uh, me neither. Template. Response. Template. Response. Template. Response. Template. Response. Template. Response. Template. Response. Hello. Template. Response. Oh my god, you saved my bacon, pal. Where'd we go? Is this a jailbreak? Can't say a thing. Where'd we go? Where'd we go? Uh. Template. Response. Hello. Template. Response. You've got it, you've got it, yes, put him in there. <laughs> oh, let's see how this place likes a crap turret. New template accepted. It worked! If we're lucky, she won't find out all her turrets are crap until it's too late. <laughs> Classic. Okay, keep your eye on the turret line. I'm gonna go and hack the door in. Template. Yes. Template. Yes. Response. This door's actually pretty complicated. Ugh! I lost the door. You know, I mean, was there any sort of announcement before it opened? Like a, like a buzzer or an alarm of some kind? Or like a hacker alert? I mean, you know, fair enough, the important thing is it's open, but it's, in, it's just mentioned in the future. Cough or something. All right, now, she can't use her turrets, so let's go and take care of that neurotoxin generator as well. Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. And 40 potato batteries. Embarrassing. I mean, I realise they're children, but still, you know, low-hanging fruit and all that. Barely science, really, is it? Baking soda volcano. Well, you know, at least it's not a potato battery, I'll give it that, but it's not terrifically original, is it? You know what I mean? Like, like, like primary research, even within the child sciences. Look at that, it's growing right up into the ceiling. The whole place is probably overrun with potatoes at this point, isn't it? At least you won't starve, though. I'm pretty sure we're going the right way, just to reassure you. Don't worry, I'm absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. No, it's not this way. Okay, let's try this way. Ha! I knew we were going the right way! This is the neurotoxin generator. Bit bigger than I expected. Uh, not going to be able to just, you know, push it over. Have to apply some cleverness. There's some sort of control room up at the top, so uh, let's go and investigate. 